John Goodman is um, <clears throat> instantly recognizable to anybody with a, a television set or a movie theater or screening room, but I suppose mostly as Roseanne's husband uh, in, um, in Roseanne, the show by the same name. Uh, he's just a blended actor, and luckily we get to see him in things other than Roseanne, no slight intended to that show. And l next you will see him as a legend, a big one, the babe. The Bambino, Babe Ruth. How good a representation of the Babe is this? We know that he was not without faults, and it would have been years ago there was a movie about him with Bendix that I remember is pretty good, but I was about 10 years old at the time. Uh, but I'm sure it didn't have any of the real bad things that might shock any Boy Scout. No, they, uh, in that one he got suspended from the Yankees for uh, taking a dog to a, taking a, a dog that he hit with a foul ball to the hospital. That was the worst thing he did. Yeah, in he movie. was he was pretty pretty salty character. Yeah. Uh, we tried to be fair to his memory. I mean, mm -hmm. we didn't really get real very steamy and or you know try to exploit him in any way. Uh, but yeah, he did uh, he did some pretty rough things and he got around a lot. He he liked to uh, make whoopee. I don't know that much about him. I, I, I know a story about a kid who adored him, so who's, of course, not, not a kid anymore, and was about to ask the babe for his autograph once when the babe pulled out a, whisk, a pocket flask <laughs> and downed, I think, Jack Daniels or something, about a half pint. And the kid was so stunned that he just sort of turned and walked away. Oh, jeez. I think he came from a temperance home. and. Uh, I may be embellishing it, but uh, yeah, well, it's, it's a damn good story. What would be the sort of thing that would about him that's true, that was too rough to use in the movie? Oh, he uh, there's one story about he brought a couple of girls home. Uh, he shared a suite with a with another ball player when they were on the road, and uh, the next morning the guy says, "How, how many times did you?" Uh, enjoy your companion last mm -hmm. night. He goes, how many cigar butts are in the in the ashtray? He says, seven. He goes, well, every time I came out and finished, I'd light a cigar and put it down and go back in. So he, he had quite an so appetite. So his um, average was well over 300 yeah. for that season. <laughs> and how. <laughs> what about the, the famous moment? There, I've heard that it's um, not what we think it is, that the famous pointing to outfield with the Wait, he was a lefty, wasn't he? Yeah, uh, he pointed with his right hand. Yeah, he pointed with the bat in, held in his right hand? No, just... Uh, with his hand? Just his finger. But, uh, I've heard that, in fact, he was saying something like, there goes the seagull, or that light's burned out Gertrude out there. And Heathcliff. And that it wasn't the thing we... we li which is true, I He, uh, I, I think he called the shot. He... I hope that's true. There was a, yeah, I hope it is, too. That's probably why I want it so bad. It's just yeah. such a great story. It was... Uh, 32 World Series uh, against the Cubs, and, and they were big rivals. He'd been getting a lot of grief from Cubs fans. You know, they spit on his wife and everything. And spit I, on his wife? Yeah, when they were coming into the hotel. But he, uh, oh. they were, after, after, when we were shooting the movie, a sports writer from Chicago wanted this run out of town because he didn't believe it was true. Uh, and we found some footage that I didn't get to see, but uh, it's, Sure enough, bigger than life. He's sitting there. He, he would count the pitch and then point out. So the, there's no doubt in your mind yeah, that that's I, I what think he, he was did doing. It. How in hell did you manage to bat left-handed and throw without looking like a girl? Pardon me. <laughs> um, you get in trouble for that, my friend. Yeah, I know. Uh, I, I don't care anymore. No. <laughs> you're, 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 I think people are much too careful now. They, yeah. Too. Not, but, I mean, this is almost fun. a physical I, impossibility. To, no, it, it's I, it? it's something that can be done. Um, the guy that taught me went up to AAA and and played in the, in the um, majors sometime with the Cardinals organization. He yeah. blew his right shoulder out, and he tried to make a comeback uh, with his left hand. And he we'd get up every morning, um, Denny Kyra and uh, another guy, Ray Chase, and myself before Roseanne start about seven. Um, in, and I started this in January, throwing, mm -hmm. um, you know, short distances, and then every day we'd work on that for an hour, and then hitting uh, left-handed off a tee, 
mm -hmm. and then uh, finally hitting pitches, and it, it just got easier. And I can't hit right-handed anymore. You're not saying it is easy. It's not a snap to learn it, is it? No, it took a while, but it's, yeah. it, was, uh, it was a challenge, and it but was first, fun. you have to consciously place the other foot forward to throw. Oh, it's very awkward. And I you mean, throw, it looks like yeah. that for some reason. Yeah.